Welcome to Chemical Guys Detail Garage. Today we're covering the topic of how to polish and also the proper polishing techniques on this beautiful BMW 750i. Now, we've already started the detailing process by washing it and clay barring it to prep it for its next step, which is going to be paint correction, because this vehicle has some minor scratches and swirls, but there's a lot of heavy areas, such as right here on the edge of the hood, where it looks like someone must have taken something abrasive and then swirled into the paint, causing these really deep swirls and scratches. So today, we're going over the process of how to remove that and refine the finish. So like I mentioned, before you do any kind of paint correction or polishing steps, you want to make sure that you've wash the vehicle to remove the abrasive particles, and then use a clay bar to extract any embedded contaminants that are in the pores of the paint. This is going to prevent clotting your pad, but also if that kind of really sticky or heavy stuff gets stuck in the pad, it starts to swirl and pigtail the paintwork, and that gives you a different effect, and also you're not gonna get the flawless finish that you're looking for. But today we're going to be using one product, and that is going to be a VSS Scratch and Swirl Remover. This is a one-step polish that removes fine scratches and swirls, moderate imperfections to reveal a factory finish or a flawless finish while using one polish. And what that means is you don't have to do multiple polishing steps or use multiple products. It's gonna be your compound and polish in one sort of like a hybrid. Now also to break down the VSS, we're gonna be using our Torque 10FX polisher, which has an eight millimeter throw. This is a dual action, which means it's a great machine for those of you guys that are learning how to polish or you wanna hone your polishing skills or just want an all around great machine for not only paint correction, but also applying your favorite glaze, sealant, and waxes. But to begin, we're going to attach our orange Hex Logic pad. We're gonna center it as best as we can. This way it's not offset on the machine or causing some kind of misbalance. And then we're going to apply five dime sized dots of the VSS which I had mentioned is an all-in-one polish, so we're only going to be using one product for today. And we'll use about the size of one hex. And then we'll also spray the pad with pad conditioner to help moisten the pad. And a lot of guys ask if this is a necessary step. And in fact it is, especially if you want to save your pads or add some longevity. What this does is it helps to moisten the pad to reduce any kind of excess friction, but it also reduces any kind of dusting from your products. So now pro tip is to always throw the cord over your shoulder. This way it doesn't wrap against the side of the vehicle causing micro dents or scratches. But we're gonna start by blotching out the polish in a two foot by two foot section, which is about the width of your shoulders. And then on the lowest speed setting, we're gonna spread this out. And on the highest speed setting, which on the Torque 10FX is going to be the speed setting six or the analog screen will show 40. That's what we're gonna do our polishing steps at, but a few things to keep in mind is one, always keep the machine completely flat, meaning that the pad is completely flat on the surface. And then you also wanna make sure that it's always spinning. So a trick you can use is you can mark your pad with some hashes and that'll show you that it's always spinning or it's constantly rotating. And then also you wanna make sure that you're constantly moving as well, moving about an inch per second, which means that's gonna be your arm speed from side to side. And you can use a cross hatching pattern covering about 50% of your last pass, just like you would when you're cutting the grass to make sure that you have an even removal and also an even shine. But with VSS, you wanna make sure that it goes completely clear after it's done breaking down. So what I do is typically on a two foot by two foot section, that's about three or four passes for it to break down. And then I'll give it one more pass just to ensure that all the product has done its job thoroughly and that we can get the best result. Now that the polish has gone clear, we're gonna take a clean microfiber towel and wipe off any of the excess so we can check our work. But this is a great way, again, to remove any kind of scratches and swirls, light oxidation, any kind of water spots or bird stain etchings. And this also preps the surface for whether you're going to apply a ceramic coating or a glaze sealant wax combination. 
This ensures that you're going to have a flawless finish and a better end result, giving you the perfect shine because the scratches, they clot the surface of the paintwork, giving you that really awful look or a very gray finish. So by removing them or refining the clear coat, you're going to give yourself that factory shine and that mirror gloss. And again, this is only by using a one-step polish, but if you're looking for a more cut or a variation, you can also change your pad as well as your chemical combination to give yourself the desired effect for your vehicle. Now, one final thing that people ask us with polishing is how to polish around body lines or smaller edges such as this. In cases where it's really hard to get the polisher in there or a five inch pad, what I would recommend doing is using a smaller pad such as a four inch pad. And this way you can get all the way in here without stalling the backing plate or you know, not removing as much as you'd like. But also what you can do is break up the hood or the surface of the vehicle into different sections. So the flat panels will be one section, come back and do this as another section. And then what you wanna do is you wanna work up to body lines or around them and try to avoid lingering on these edges because this is where the paint is going to be the thinnest. So obviously by sitting there, you're removing more and that's where it could cause paint failure or you could burn through the clear coat. So it's best to take that into precaution, especially when you're using a rotary polisher. With the dual action, you're a little more forgiven on that kind of stuff because it's very easy to use and also it removes paint not as quickly as a rotary would. So guys, I'm gonna finish off the rest of the hood as well as the rest of the BMW, but in the meantime, you guys can head over to our website, chemicalguys.com, order your local detail garage, check these products for yourself. If you appreciate today's video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, drop your comments down below for any future videos or any questions you may have about polishing, and we'll see you guys next time.